Lawrence. Here with Ben, hyper fire triggers. We got a party to go to later. We're gonna catch up at, but we first and foremost, we got a brand new trigger on the line. What is it? So this is our new PDI model, which stands for power drop-in. So you get all the same hyper fire quality that everybody's used to, but we've used our mechanical uh, our mechanical advantage technology to allow us to use some heavier hammer springs and get that lighter pull without the use of our toggle system. So you've got a full drop-in trigger here, mill grade drop test safe. Hits harder than mill spec, two pound pull. <laughs> There's nothing there, dude. Nothing, <laughs> nothing there. Nothing there. Well, I had a chance to try it on the line, yep. suppressed, and yep. I mean, it was shooting so fast, I was getting choked out from the uh, suppression gas <laughs> coming back. This is really gonna hit a mark in the market that I don't think anybody else is doing right now. Yeah. What are you hoping to achieve with this trigger? Uh, the biggest thing that we wanted to do is just satisfy our customers. Our customers wanted a drop-in trigger with yeah. hyper-fire quality, so we delivered. And we looked at what other people are offering drop-in triggers for, and we decided to set it at a price point of about 180, so that that way everybody can get an affordable quality drop-in trigger. So we've got our Genesis model here, which is another one of our HyperTouch series that's going to have a longer pre-travel, really short reset, um, which is basically the entry level into our HyperTouch series. And then moving all the way up to the top, which is our uh, Eclipse, which is going to have about a 50-50 pre-travel and reset. Competition shooters absolutely love this trigger. It's going to be duty grade, so it's going to last you through anything, and it hits about 15% harder than even a mil-spec stock trigger. So we maintain all reliability, all safety in a high-performance trigger. So. Cool, very cool. So this is really marketed to that, like that high-end three-gun competitor? Yes, three-gun and PCC. So they are PCC tough. PCCs aren't going to destroy them. Obviously, a 12-gauge shotgun isn't going to destroy them. So, so you, you talk about durability. Uh, where, where are all the hyperfire triggers manufactured? All hyperfire triggers are manufactured in Minnesota here in the United States. So we, uh, we maintain all high mil-spec tolerances high-grade steel, and everybody that we work with is within two hours of our shop so that we can make sure to keep a close eye over all of the manufacturing process. Uh, can we try one of these triggers out? Yeah, more than welcome. So we'll go ahead and set you up with the Eclipse there and that PCC. All right, we're shooting 9 mil in a quarter circle 10 PCC, and uh, this has got the Eclipse trigger. Oh, that resets really nice. There's not much. Okay. Yep. Very short reset and it's solid and positive. You you, you know when you reset, you get exactly. that you really get that feedback. You only get feedback, you actually get an audible click that you oh, yeah. can actually, even with uh, these sh shitty plugs in my ear, I can actually, I can actually hear, hear the click. Yeah, and that's a really important for competition shooters, to be able to train to shoot right off that reset. So currently, this system has our green springs in it, which give you a two and a half pound pull, and then there's a red set that comes with each trigger that can make it a three and a half pound pull. Okay. So we don't want to put any types of shims or adjustment screws in our triggers, we want to keep them milled up as little adjustment as possible, so it does come with two different pull weights in each one. And in Canada, available through uh, any dealer that carries Odell Engineering? Yeah, products. anybody who goes through Odell Engineering, those are some great guys over there. Awesome. Ben, thanks for your time. Hope you have a good shot show. Yeah. And so you don't miss out. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube.com. This is Code of Arms.